Hey guys, it's Lime Tree here, and uh, I, I'm in a good mood. I want you guys to know that I'm in a good mood, and uh, you should be in a good mood too, because we all can party naked. And uh, that's a freedom that we have in most countries, hopefully. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're playing COD 4, and uh, I'm using the uh, Golden AK-47, which is the beautifulest weapon in the world on this game, and with stopping power and deep impact, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the reason that I'm so happy is I just ordered Mortal Kombat, uh, from eBay because the douchebags in Australia, um, banned it from Australia because of its brutality and cutting people in half with, uh, a karate chop and then sticking a trophy in their neck. Now, I, I don't think it's that bad. You know, I think there's worse. I mean, I, you, you, you've seen God of War 3 and that's pretty, pretty bad. That made it to Australia, but, um... I don't know, both are awesome games, hopefully, uh, if there ever is a God of War 4, which I, I hope there is, oh god, I hope there is, if there is, I am going to, uh, wow, I will not do anything except for play that game, which I guess is a, a somewhat of a, a task to do if it does come out, uh, but anyway, Mortal Kombat's the focus, and, uh, yeah, it looks just so awesome, uh, I'm glad that you know, there is an eBay and I can import, uh, import games that they don't decide to let out here. Um, you know, I can, I can put them, uh, in the mail. Or they can, other people can put it in the mail and I can, I can enjoy it. But, uh, basically Mortal Kombat, if you don't know what it is, is a fighting game. Uh, awesome, awesome fighting game. I'm pretty sure a lot of commentators are... Um, doing like let's plays and stuff, and I'll be doing a let's play of the story mode if I can. Uh, like I don't know if I can connect to like American servers or something. If there is an Australian server, which I doubt there would be because it's banned in Australia. Um, but if it's like if it's host based and you don't actually need a server to run it, if it's just peer to peer connection, then I will be able to get some multiplayer gameplay and hopefully I'll be able to rip shit up as Kratos. And you can actually play as the the uh, God of War in Mortal Kombat. That's how awesome this game is. If you live in America or uh, England, I, I'm not sure if it's, it's illegal in uh, in England or not, but um, you know it's a great game. And double spray for the win for the airstrike, the beautiful, beautiful airstrike. Which uh, what what do you guys feel about preset uh, kill streaks? Well, like for Modern Warfare 3, would you want presets or non presets? Because personally, I love the presets in COD 4. They make me uh, all happy inside, and yeah. They do things to me, uh, but the preset kill streaks, uh, they're powerful. They they are. They're not they're not underpowered. I don't really think they're uh, overpowered. Um, but I mean, if you look at the the uh, the non-preset kill streaks, the one that you that you set yourself, like in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, like that boosts someone's kills at least like uh, fourfold or something like that, cr like crazy amounts. And, uh, yeah, so in Modern Warfare 2, which is Modern Warfare 3, is basically the sequel to Modern Warfare 2, but it's actually the sequel, or the, what is after, like, threequel, the quadquel, whatever, it's the, the eighth in the Call of Duty series, I'm pretty sure, if you don't count the Wii games and stuff like that, uh, and World at War and stuff like that, and it's being, you know, um, produced by the people, or made by the people who made COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, uh, except they are, they, they're not really a company anymore, and those guys were just shitting out grenades everywhere. They just, one guy took a turn, and then the other guy took a turn, and then they just started exploding, and it was like, oh, rah, 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 and then I get shot in the face with a shotgun, unfortunately. And, um, the M10 is a beautiful shotgun, but when you get it used against you, you do, uh, combust and die. I tried to get a, a kill, I thought I actually got a kill with, uh, with the deep impact through the, uh, the sheet metal, but... It was not to be, ladies and gentlemen, it was not to be. But yeah, so uh, Mortal Kombat, let's play, that's going to be coming, which is going to be awesome. But uh, let's, let's go on with the uh, the Modern Warfare 3 talk. I really want you guys' opinion, so if you can, leave a comment down below. Do you like the preset kill streaks better or the uh, the non-preset kill streaks? Because personally, I like the presets, it keeps it all balanced. You know, when someone gets a helicopter, uh, you can always take it down with RPGs. And uh, which brings me to my next point, like, I don't really understand why they put lock on things in the game, in, like, in Modern Warfare 2, I mean, RPGs and satchel charges and stuff like that in, um, in World of War and COD 4 were perfect, like, I guess they just wanted to explore something, but ended up really, really hurting the, uh, the series, hopefully Modern Warfare 3 will be able to bring it back to COD 4 and World of War, because, I mean, even though there was, a a little bit, like, of unbalance, like, 
They should they should definitely make sniping easier than it is in Black Ops because it is it's really hard. It is it's like the point of sniping is to disadvantage yourself, and I couldn't seem to get this guy even with deep impact. Just millions of hit markers, and um, I think this is the end of the game. So I'll, I'll continue with my rant here, and I'm gonna run in with my deagle and go absolutely crazy. Uh, I thought that guy didn't die, but I hope you guys have a nice day. Um, I'll probably post another COD 4 video before Mortal Kombat, but uh, until then. Have a good day, and I'm going to go grab some Mexican food. Bye.